Hello everybody, I'm Drake, like the dragon, and welcome to Death of a Pet. Day 5 of Halloween Horror Week. This is supposed to be a very sad horror game, but it looked interesting from the very, very short description on Itch.io, so I really wanted to try it out. Hope you enjoy, and without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, classic. Got exactly what he deserved. Go home. What? Go home. Doesn't let me go in the house. Did I do a bad? Why did the camera get so up close? A dog cage? Investigate the cage. The cage had a note that says, sorry. Oh no. But wait, look at this cute little dog. What should I name you? Is that gonna- Peanut? Peanut is such a good name? Oh my god, I'm gonna name him Peanut. That's adorable. I think I know what to name you. What do you think about Peanut? Let's go inside, Peanut. Did I just, like, get done murdering and, uh, came home to find a... a little doggy? He looks like a Peanut, too. He's so tiny. Look at him. Wanna hang out, Peanut? What is the layout of my house, dude? I'm so tired. Go to bed. Why is my house a fucking maze? Who the fuck made this? Okay. Another day. Oh yes, I have a dog that I can walk now. Between my murdering. I'll just open the door into myself, you know? No biggie. Take a walk around the block. Okay. This is weird. Am I even feeding my dog? Hey, pupper. Come on. Oh, that's not my front door. That's my front door. Come on, puppy. Come on. Okay. Walk around the block. Oof. The camera changes are cray cray. Why did I just say that? I'm... Oh, wrong way. All right. We don't want to go that way, doggy, for some reason. I am against the direction entirely. He's so small. Why is he walking like a spider, you know? Like, short bursts of... fast walking and then saving energy with the slow walks. It feels like three days changed. Here and some other doggos. Do I go around fully? They're walking a lot. Maybe I should uh, feed the dog eventually. Hey, dog! No! No! We don't walk in the street. Get hit by a car. We don't want that. Look at that shadow, man. What a chad. Oh, <laughs> look at his shadow. It's so cute. Hey, okay, no, not in the street, you know. You are tiny, so I'll forgive you. Come on, little guy. No, not in the street. Yes, good bark. Is this my house? No. Hey, doggy. You can poop in their yard. I don't. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Is this my house? No. What a great walk. Let's go home, Peanut. 
We just started a day, walked, and went to bed. Time to walk the dog. Okay. I mean... Could I possibly feed the dog or myself? <laughs> hey, little Dashon. Come on. Little wiener doggo. Little wiener schnitzel. Come on. Okay. I guess let's go for a walk around the block. I'm gonna run this time. <laughs> Chase me, boy. Chase me, boy. As the name of the game would suggest. This dog is definitely gonna die. Okay, can go that way. Come on, boy. <laughs> I guess I ran too far ahead of him and he just spawned at me. That's hilarious. Do it again. Do it again. Dog. Ha ha ha. There he is. Sweet boy. Even though it's just a, a, sh a shaky shadow, I just know this dog is wagging his little tail. Like the cutie he is. Peanut, one of these days we'll reach the peak of fitness. Ha uh ha! -huh. Let's go home, buddy. Okay, let's go home. Not my house. <laughs> Will I ever learn what my house is? Come on, Peanut. Jump in, buddy. I will never shower, never feed you, and just walk. It keeps reminding me of the title as well. Dan, I need water. <laughs> it has been days. Hey, buddy. What you doing in the wardrobe, buddy? That fucking scared me. I thought there was a home invasion going on. Chug, chug, chug. You know what they say, boy. Those that chug together, stay together. Come on. You can hop on the bed with me. Come on. Let's go for a walk, Peanut. Voila. Yes. Phase through me, baby. Find the key to the front door. Ah. Who the hell put the key there? Who the hell put the camera there? Hey, buddy. Come on. Is there anything out of place? No? Oh, the newspaper. Oh, no. There seems to be a burglar on the loose in our neighborhood, Peanut. We best be careful while we take these walks. Okay, buddy. We're gonna stick to close together today, okay? Yes, sir. I mean, a burglar and a mugger is not the same, right? Like, someone who's mugging people is who you should be afraid of. Burglars want the house. If anything, we should be, like, securing our home or staying home so it doesn't get burgled, right? Dum de dum, taking a walk, taking a walk. It's like I'm fucking nourished by these walks or something, man. Peanut, kneel. Oh, I just reminded myself of that scene from Fleabag when I said that. And now I'm doubly sad. Seems that our walks take upwards of like 15 hours to complete. Do I have no neighbors? Like there's no traffic on the road? Just nobody else living around the area? Why can I see into this house and none of the other ones? Is 
Is that a bad neighbor? Come on, buddy. Ooh, at least we did not get robbed. Not yet. Let's go home, buddy. Come on, dude. Yes, I was walking in the street. Stop it. Come in. Okay. I'm gonna pretend to feed you. Here's a food bowl that I'm pretending to fill up because... Did close my curtains? I don't like the idea that uh, I haven't fed you once. I barely slept last night. Too stressed about this neighborhood burglar. Can't lose Peanut again? Ugh, I mean, I can't lose Peanut too. I'm clearly still asleep. Well, time for a walk. Oh, guy. Are we, uh... Are we imagining things? Are we, like, living in a constant loop? Swallowed by guilt? The idea of getting Peanut and our routine, and then that mixing up with the reality that somebody killed our pet and we probably killed them too? Is that what's happening? Answer me, game. Tell me, Peanut. You must know. You must know. Why won't you answer me? I know you can talk. It's all in my head, Peanut. It's all in my head. What a pleasant dog. Just occasionally barks, doesn't ask for anything. Doesn't stop even for a pee-pee poo-poo. I'm definitely imagining this. Is it just me or has the Chad walk become a little bit more uh, sad and the droopy? Yes, buddy. You agree that I look sad and droopy? Just, oh, there we go. The neighborhood seems so peaceful. It seems almost impossible that we could have a burglary problem around here. Let's go home, Peanut. The text goes by quite quickly. I have no control over it, so sorry that I'm messing up a little bit when I'm talking. I just keep being worried that I'm not going to read something in time and it's going to disappear. Well, let's go to bed, I guess. Oh my god. Shit, what was that sound? I hated that. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no, Peanut. What the fuck have they done to you? They? They? They're probably still inside the house. I need to get back to the bedroom and call emergency services. <gasps> oh my god. Which direction are they going? Which direction are they going, man? Are they stuck? What the fuck is happening? I think that the, the model is stuck because he does not seem to be doing anything. Oh, he's unstuck now. Okay. Oh. What the fuck, man? Like, what the actual fuck is the model doing? It's just circling in place. This is ridiculous. I can't move. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What is happening? It's like not moving out of place until I start moving, and then when I'm moving, it's like... 
stuck exactly where it needs to block my way again. Okay, call in emergency services. Operator emergency services, what's your emergency? There's someone in my fucking house. They killed my dog. Try to keep calm. Where are you? 43 Tulip Lane, please hurry, send someone. An officer is on his way, stay put. Bro, I'm like, there's no way. My phone died, shit. Wait for the officer to arrive. How am I supposed to do that? I'm just, okay, I'm just gonna stand in the corner. If I can't see him, he can't see me. See, I fit in this corner perfectly. It was made for me. It was made for this exact situation. That was fucking scary, bro. Oh my god. <sighs> I thought there was gonna be some build up, but it was just so sudden. Which is more realistic, I guess. But holy shit. It was terrifying. Oh, the poor dog. He got fucking disemboweled. Why would any burglar need to do that? And then stay in the house? And then someone not hear me run past him and call emergency services? Meet the officer outside? I'm supposed to leave? My poor dog, man. They killed my fucking dog. Go kill them. Gotta keep calm. I'm going to look through the house. They killed Peanut. I'll speak with the officer outside after he searched the house. Man, they killed Peanut, dude. Ugh. They just walked over my dead dog's body. Are you kidding me? Plus, what do I think I'm doing? Just saying that they killed my dog? Like I know, like the officer knows exactly who it is, and I'm requesting the officer to kill. I guess like, it's just a little unreasonable. Did you find anything? Found nothing. He must have escaped while I was on my way to you. I saw your dog. I'm sorry. I also stepped on him. I'm sorry. Have to go now. I'm truly sorry. Are you not going to? Uh, like, take prints or anything? The window's clearly broken. Wow, man. This is, like, deeply upsetting now. How am I gonna- where am I gonna find the shovel? Well, at least they took my TV, you know? That's what was important, probably. Oh, at least I, you know, changed my clothes. For the funeral. You know how it is. You have, like, a shed or something? Somehow my window is intact from the outside. Um, a shovel, please? Ah, oh, there it is. Dig a grave near the tree. Pick up Peanut's corpse. Ugh, oh, dude. How could I let this happen? Oh, buddy, it wasn't your fault. You didn't let it happen. Oh, just leaving the guts on the floor. Oh, I get it's really upsetting, but don't leave the guts on the floor. May you rest in peace, Peanut. Oh. Yeah, just gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'll leave the guts on the floor and the window broken and uh, have a sound night of sleep. Fuck my life. Yeah, dude, it's pretty shitty right now. Hey, at least a burglar came back, fixed your window, and cleaned up the guts, I guess. I visit Peanut's grave. Body. You were such a good dog. You walked, you wagged your tail, you barked occasionally. Should have kept you in the bedroom with me. Oh boy. 
that I do agree with that. That the I mean, it's not your fault that the dog got disemboweled, but you should have kept him in their bedroom with you. Why would you not? It's a tiny little doggo. What does he know? It could be argued that it's safer for for dogs to not be in the bedroom, but. I mean, if somebody's out there to, to kill people, they're going to kill anyway, right? That was unnecessarily dark of me. I apologize. Gonna be jogging to kill the time. Because it's such a long walk, man. As apparent by the constantly changing shadows and... Oh. Oh, is that it? Or, yeah, that's my block. Not the same without Peanut. There's no occasional barks. Oh, buddy. I hope that fuck dies. Oh, a new frame. I miss you so much, Peanut. Oh, I did not even have you for a week. Take a walk around a block. Man, this... Cannot be real. I just wish I could go back in time. I would have let Peanut sleep in the bedroom with me. Oh, Do we keep reliving it and keep making the same mistake? Damn you, window. If you have been boards all along, this wouldn't have happened. Ugh, I'm thirsty. That water tastes like fucking shit. Is that not concerning to you that the water tastes like shit? Isn't life pointless if the point of life is to end it? Maybe I should just fucking end myself. Don't say that. This is really, like, upsetting. Because the dialogue is so minimal, man, and so emotional. Fina, I'm so sorry. I could have prevented this whole thing. Man, the only person who could have prevented this whole thing is the perpetrator. And that's the case with any kind of a violence. The only person to blame is the perpetrator. And you always ask yourself how you could have changed things and influenced it or protected yourself or someone else. But the truth is, you were just living your life normally. And somebody came in trying to ruin it. And we can't change that. And we can't blame ourselves. We can only try to move on. And take all the time you need, buddy. I'm tired. No wonder. Oh. And water it just keeps repeating, man. I should get a plumber to inspect these pipes. Don't tell me, like, that the corpse is seeping into it. Not again, dude. I don't even have another window. 
It's you. You fucking killed my dog. I did n I'm calling the fucking cops. Good luck. I mean, fuck, my phone is dead. Go outside and find the burglar. That was a boarded fucking thing. What do you mean? Whoa. Fuck. Wait. His car has an oil leak. I can see it on the sidewalk. I know where he lives. It's gonna be the house, isn't it? It's gonna be the other house that I could see in. That I had no business <laughs> um, going to because it was not on my route, but I did anyway. <laughs> just a burglar just broke into my house and I was like, you killed my fucking dog. And the burglar just goes, I did not. Yes, you did. Did not. Did too. And so on and so on. So fucked up. <laughs> Is it gonna just lead back to my house? No, it's gonna be that house, isn't it? Oh, there it is again. This is where he lives. The ass that murdered my dog. Look around the house for a window to peek into. Oh, shit, dude. This is really disturbing. That window's curtains are open. I can peek through it. Which one? Could not possibly be that, dude. He owns a dog. That is a boarded up window. Fuck him. I'm going home. There's a peanut's grave. Oh, I can see the whole house. It is that house, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally the house that I've seen before. I did not circle back to my block, I don't think. It, I think it, I'm a little bit lower. It's so strange, what the hell? At least, like, I'm going back home. Hopefully to charge my phone and, you know, call the cops. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry, Peanut. I'm just gonna go to bed again? Dude, how are you able to sleep? What? I don't know if I should call the police, get dressed. Boarded it up again, didn't I? Is it Tina's grave? I wish you were still here. Take another walk. I have a strange feeling that the oil slicks following me along the way are going to remind me of everything and maybe Make the guy angrier. When you open the settings, it says you can toggle a flashlight with F, but you can't. So I keep thinking that maybe, like, I become the burglar at some point. And it just keeps going around in circles. I don't know. Burglar lives down this road. I wonder if he's home. That's... Why do you want to know that? How is that a useful thing to know? His car is here. 
I wish I could just call the police, but I can't, because then I would not be able to do something to him myself. Probably start heading home. You can see inside fully, right? Finish your walk. This dude is literally a three minute walk away from me and he had to take his car and like circle all the way around the block. Plus like you're burglaring in your own block. Have to do something. Oh man. It is worrying where this is going, but also obvious. I can't sleep, I need a knife. Why? Is it Peanut's grave? This is not good. Oh, the music as well. I'm sleeping in a onesie? Peanut, this is for you. Oh no, dude. Oh. You're gonna go knife a man to death in your little onesie that you sleep in? Your skin tight catsuit onesie? Truly a man who has lost everything. Again, is nobody in this neighborhood ever like looking out the window or anything? I'm coming for you. His car is not there. Break into the burglar's house. I feel like I'm just repeating history here. Finally kill the burglar's dog. No. No, I don't want to kill the puppy. I do not want to kill the puppy. Come on, I don't. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, guy. <laughs> oh, he's not reacting at all. Maybe he's already dead. I'm a piece of shit, man. I am no better than the burglar. I'm no better than the burglar. I need to keep stabbing him. Oh my god. Oh, I am worse than the burglar. I hope this stings. Wait. Where is that fuck? This is so fucked up, dude. He's not in his room. Not in here either. He wasn't home, dude. What are you doing? What the fuck is this bitch? You're the bitch. It's a you. You keep doing this shit. What is happening? Fuck. He's not in the house. I did what I felt I should. There's no reason waiting for him to ha come back. Holy shit. Dude, you're no fucking better. To know that pain and want to cause it on somebody else. Did he come? This is where it happens, doesn't it? He gave me a new puppy and he apologized. Oh, yeah, we're right at the beginning. Where the burglar, like, came in, apologized, gave me a dog. Cage. <laughs> the cage has a note that says sorry. Oh no. Dude. Listen, as monotonous as the walking was, 
this was a good game. It was nice. Um, it was a horror in like a just emotionally disturbing way. It was all made by this one man, Andres Benade. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but yeah, I got this game off Itchio. And if you want to support the developer, that's the place to go. Very good game. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't have much to say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sad. It wasn't like, you know, cry your eyes out sad. But it's just like a deep sadness. And if it makes me think about losing my pet, you can be sur sure that it's gonna fuck me up more. This game was a quick passion project to get me back into game development after previously losing literally all of my programming and frameworks that I used to develop my games. So once again, thank you very much for playing my comeback game. Thank you for making it. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this game, please leave a like. It would mean a lot to me. That was day five of Halloween Horror Week. And thank you for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Bye for now.